want to first thank the president for the prioritization of aquaculture as one of the key growth poles that will help the Ghanaian economy rebound. President Akufuado, over the years, even before now, has been keen on growing the Ghanaian economy. And one of the key growth poles that he's been interested in is aquaculture. And that is why, even before today, investments have been made to put up this aquaculture training center. But not just this alone, the Anomabo Fisheries College and ensuring that a number of our tertiary institutions, universities and colleges also take aquaculture seriously. Mr. President, I wish to inform you that the ministry has prepared a new Ghana National Aquaculture Development Plan to be implemented between 2023 and 2027 for the sustainable development of the aquaculture subsector. The implementation of the plan is expected to improve aquaculture production from 89,376 metric tons in 2021 to 211,697 metric tons by the end of 2027. The operationalization of the center will also help to improve the implementation of the aquaculture for food and jobs initiatives being implemented by the ministry by providing the needed practical training to beneficiaries of the initiative to improve their skills and capacities. Mr. President, it is gratifying to note that the first batch of 24 students have been admitted to undertake 13 weeks training in various aspects of the aquaculture at the center. I take the opportunity to entreat them to make good use of this chance and help promote the aquaculture industry in the country. Today marks yet another milestone in government's quest to develop the fisheries and aquaculture sector. Just over a week ago, I was in Elmina in the central region to commission the 86 million euros Elmina Fishing Harbor project. Today, I'm in Amrahia, in Greater Accra, to commission the 12 million United States dollar state-of-the-art National Aquaculture Training Center and Commercial Park project which reinforces the Akufuado government's determination and commitment to the growth of the fisheries and aquaculture sector. It is estimated that some three million people are employed along the entire value chain of the fisheries and aquaculture sector. Some 60% of the nation's annual protein is derived from the fishing sector. It contributes 11, about 11% of agriculture's GDP. And it employs about 20% of our nation's workforce through direct and indirect means. Last year, our nation earned some 254 million United States dollars from the export of fish and fish products. Sadly, our marine stocks face significant threats in the form of pollution, biodiversity loss, ocean dumping, overfishing, and other maritime threats, including overexploitation, illegal, unreported, and unregulated fishing, piracy, and trafficking. These avoidable threats affect the livelihoods of millions of people. They affect food security prospects. They affect critical infrastructure. And they affect important ecosystems. To address the challenge of dwindling catches from the sea and increasing demand for fish, government in 2019, in recognition of the potential of the agricultural subsector, granted approval for the implementation 
of the Greenhouse Aquaculture Technology System to help increase food domestic fish production, to increase expertise in aquaculture, and to create jobs for the youth. To this end, the salt cutting for the realization of the project took place in September 2021. The aim of the center is to produce quality fish products and create employment through the training of the local population as fish farmers with emphasis on graduates from our universities. The center complements the Ministry of Fishes and Aquaculture Development's program on agriculture for food and jobs and reaffirms government's determination to reduce graduate un unemployment in the country. Ladies and gentlemen, as water bodies dry up and become polluted due to human activity, and as the pressure on land acquisition increases, modernization of aquaculture must involve the utilization of less space and water, but at the same time must increase productivity. One such modern technology that has these attributes is the Recirculating Aquaculture System, RAS, which is being employed by the center I'm commissioning today. Not only does this system offer minimal maintenance costs and relatively low to moderate energy consumption, it also guarantees the production of healthy and export-ready products. It will thus ensure the production of some 25 metric tons of tilapia, 25 metric tons of catfish, and four metric tons of prawns <coughs> annually. This will ultimately mean an increase in fish production, a reduction in fish imports, and the enrichment of local capacity and technical know-how through the training of youth at the center. It is my expectation that the center will be well managed to achieve its purpose of training modern fish farmers and also produce fish in high quantities to generate sufficient income to sustain the center and augment total fish production in the country. I congratulate the contractors and consultants for completing the project on schedule. And I express the gratitude of the Ghanaian people, to the chiefs and people of Amrahia and Amalfu for their support and cooperation during the construction of the project. And I encourage the student trainees through their representative to persevere and help shape the development of this potentially lucrative sector. It is thus my singular honor and pleasure to declare the National Aquaculture Training Center and Commercial Farm duly commissioned. May God bless the National Aquaculture Training Center and us all. May God bless our homeland, Ghana, and make her great and strong. I thank you for your attention.